Welcome to the Real Andy of Beverly Hills Show. Hey, hello, Beverly Troop. Welcome back. I'm the Real Andy of Beverly Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day. Girl, I'm here still in the beautiful city of Bogota, Colombia. That's outside, you know, and I'm here in like, a, I want to say this is like a conference room in the hotel uh, because my husband is filming right now as we speak in the room you know so, and we have to leave soon so it was like i don't know every man for themselves you know we have to find a way to do all of this today is my last day here in um, bogota uh, we're leaving very early tomorrow and you know i was like we just need to spill the tea we just need to talk about what is going on out there and, and we need to get your opinion on absolutely everything so um, I wanted to talk to you about The Real Housewife of New Jersey, you know, because on Sunday we got a new episode that there is a lot of things going on, you know, and um, we need to know what, you know, where you stand, you know. Um, the talk of the town, there are two things related to the last episode, you know. The first one is, of course, the reaction of Joe Gorga to uh, the gift that Teresa and Louis, or mainly Louis, sent them, you know, for the housewarming that they were not invited, of course. And the second one is all related to Jackie Goldschneider, Dolores uh, Catania, and Margaret Josephs, you know? So let's take uh, one thing at a time. Now, um, what can we say about the Gorgas at this point? You know, you can see that Teresa, I have always said this, Teresa is incredibly upset at Joe, of course, she probably hates Melissa, but I have always believed that Teresa will always, always love his brother, you know, and that's always going to be in her heart, even if they're, you know, having a space or, you know, trying to figure things out, she will always have love in, in her heart for Joe, you know, and uh, I think that's a, a, something that she's trying to honor to her parents, to everything, you know. And I believe that even though Louis was the reason why she, but they decided to send that gift over there, you know, uh, I think in her heart of hearts, she she was like, okay, just send it, you know, because she couldn't be like, don't send anything. I don't want anything to do with those people, you know. But I think at the end of the day, you know, she was like, okay, yes, just do whatever you want to do. But you know, it's like, okay, yeah, let's see what is going on, you know. I think in, in, at the at, at the bottom of her heart, she was expecting that he will react somehow you know maybe at a thank you text message maybe a way to see if they can act, at least be together you know on uh, on the same place or i don't know something like that um teresa has been showing us this season how much she has been growing you know um she has been showing us i don't have a problem with who you hang out hang out with who you are you know I'm, I, she's really trying to accept absolutely everyone around her as long as they're not messing with her or her family you know um but look what joe gorga decided to do on uh, the other end you know first of all we have melissa which you know the way that she talks about the whole situation is just plain disgusting right but then we have joe gorga who decide to accept the gift drink the thing you know but take the letter and throw it to the fire. And I, I, and I just don't understand, you know? I just don't understand. Uh, but I think it also it comes from a place that, let's be honest, like, I, I don't think he was ever the favorite kid. You know, I don't think he was ever, um, I don't know, like, like, he he's such a, a grudge holder, you know? And he's so hateful right now i think he let melissa got into his head so much i think he got super brainwashed and i think at the end of the day there is nothing that is gonna change that you know because you know melissa of course is the mother of, of his kids you know and it's just the way it is at the end of the day in this situation if you want to accept one you have to accept the other one right um I bet you that if, I don't know, Louis will tell him, you know, let's put all of this behind and I'm just going to give you $10 million, he will be like, okay, I love you. You know what I mean? So I think that's the kind of person that Joe Gorga really is. And um, it's so sad. Uh, I grew up with, you know, watching him and really having even, like, at some point of my life, a crush on him because he was, 
not because he was hot, but he, you know, the, the kind of person that he was before, you know, he was so funny and he was so, um, um, you know, she has, he always have like that je ne sais quoi, you know, but then he changed it into this disgusting, horrible, nasty, hating person. And it's someone that I don't recognize anymore, you know, and I think that what he did right there with that letter really just show you who he is at this point, you know, and I don't think, I don't know if there is going to be a resolution to be very honest with you. Now, uh, let me know what you guys think about that one in the comments below. Now, let's talk a little bit about the whole Jackie Dolores Margaret situation. If there is a moment where you can literally realize what kind of horrible person Margaret is, is right there, you know? Because if you are, if, if oh, I cannot believe that she was sending Dolores text messages that were sent to her, you know, on private. Now, I don't think it was nothing out of the ordinary, you know, yeah, maybe she's so fucking annoying, you know, I hate her, whatever, but you know that that's the way these girls talk, especially over there, you know, um, I think all of them has probably sent those kind of messages to every single one of them at some point, but the fact that Margaret saved those text messages for I don't know how long, you know, to wait for the person to the perfect moment so she could expose Jackie to Dolores to, you know, kind of like punish her for having a relationship with Teresa, it really, really showing you who Margaret Josephs is over here, you know? I think she think, she thought that she won. I think she thought like, I'm going to expose this girl. No, she's exposing herself. I think when it comes to Jackie, no one, none of the three huggers I'm, I'm be, are being like, oh, we love you, Jackie. We're just going to receive you with open arms. Not yet, you know. The majority of us three huggers, we are still looking at Jackie a little bit with a side eye because we know where she's coming from, you know. And it's a normal thing to do. Of course, it's suspicious how someone who used to be close to Margaret, who used to have such big fights with uh, Teresa, out of nowhere is deciding to become friends with her, you know. But we are also taking a page out of Teresa's book and being, well, if Teresa is willing to give her a second chance, we're also giving, uh, we're also willing to give her a second chance, but we are, you know, looking at every single thing that she's doing, right? So the only one who is losing here is Margaret. The only one who is exposing herself is Margaret because this is what she does all the time this is what she probably has with everyone she earns people trust she start talking shit about everyone with everyone and then she save all of those messages in for the perfect moment when she needed and she can be like oh well she was talking shit about you you know so um i think that was very rich you know again do i trust jackie 100 percent? no i don't trust jackie 100 percent. but I'm, I'm, I'm giving her a chance. If she end up being a bitch, girl, we are going to end her, you know? But this is the first season that she is actually being friendly with Teresa, you know? So we are gonna go step by baby steps, you know? Just like Teresa is doing it. So let me know what you guys think on the comments below about all of this. And if you wanna get all the tea related to the Real Houses of New Jersey or any of the other Bravo shows, make sure to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya, bye.